and I had brown eyes like you. And I was really abused like you were as a kid. I'm glad you were my parent, because I am really glad to be alive. I didn't used to be. I used to be jealous of Ruth, because she died. You should see the kind of fathers my sons are. I am so proud of them. There were times you were a good father. I remember at my college graduation coming up to you and thanking you for paying for my college. And you were so glad I'd shown that appreciation. You also were a little boy who got hurt, who got molested by a female babysitter. We were just little like this. I know you also had to see things like what you did to my sister's body. You, you saw things like that when you were a little boy. Oh, it's kind of hard to say because it was just so horrible what you did to me. But I love you like I would love a five-year-old who had been abused. And one thing I think about making this film is people are going to think you're a monster. and. You know, you're also this little boy, and so I guess that's why I wanted to bring this and show that you're also this little boy. So I brought this to leave. I mean, I can see the good things about you as an adult. You, you did really good professionally. You provided, you worked really, really hard. I love you intently as that abused five-year-old. And otherwise, I love you with some appropriate dis distance. I remember when we used to play uh, Ruth. Oops. <laughs> it has been 50 years, 50 years since you died. Wow. Lots has happened, lots of good stuff. Do you know I I thought I'd be sad doing this today, but I'm not. You know, my life turned out good. And um, I love you, but I don't spend a lot of time missing you. Sweetie mom, I wish you could have had the kind of childhood you needed to give me a good childhood. I know this won't keep it, but I want to leave it, and I don't want it to get rained on right away. Everything went perfect today, but it was right, right by I did. Just doesn't work. I'm going to take your picture home. <sighs> it's over. Oh, I can use all that energy that I spent praying for your soul, that I spent trying to do some kind of mental gymnastics to imagine that you ever loved me. I'm loved without you. I brought your picture home. There is no place for it in our house, but there's no place for you in my life or in my heart. I just have such a good life without you. And it's always been a life without you, but I just haven't admitted it. And now I am. I am so glad to be done with the pretense of having you as a father. It is not my fault that you never grew up. It's not my fault that you were abused and it's not my fault that you responded to your abuse by abusing 
really